you be asking yourself, how did I get here? What could I have possibly done to deserve this? Tell me why. Why make me make the man I love remarry his hussy bride? How is that helpful? Who does that benefit besides the hussy? Because I'm not in the business of benefiting hussies. Tell me there's a reason. So be it. No answers, no mercy. I'm finished. You want me to be alone? I'll be alone. I'll be alone after I melt or set fire to each and every one of you. So anybody that hasn't talked yet that's been thinking about talking? Let this be a warning. Break silver. What's burning? Have you fixed it? Yet, still broken. If you buy six of them, you're really only paying for three. Mm. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. You look puffy. Have you been crying? I'll give you a bear if we don't talk about it. I'll give you a monkey if we do. I found it in your brother's room. Really? Mm -hmm. He's very concerned about you. He started praying, and you know how he feels about that sort of thing. He's praying? For me? Mm -hmm. You certainly have him worked up about something. Raises the question, doesn't it? What question? Should I be praying? Not for me. I'm fine. Of course you are, sweetheart. Dr. Ron will be very pleased to get his monkey back. You should make an appointment and return it to him since you're the one who stole it. As great as that sounds, you see him twice a week. Can't you just drop it off next time you're in therapy? Did you mark the barrel bears down? Was I not supposed to? No. This is a collector's item. You are so in trouble. I have no luck. Moldorama still busted. Just keep making all these with funky face. You'll, You'll never, never get, get rid, rid of, of all, all of us. us. to give this back to you. It's got a few dings. And is this wax? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. And sorry about not coming back after I said I had to feed the meter two months ago. It all worked out fine. Why'd you come back today? What's happening in your world? Okay, well, what have my mom and brother told you? Because I don't want to repeat information. Tell him nothing. We're not talking about your mom or your brother. Then you better tell me something, because I'm fixing to neuter you. I was talking to the monkey. It talked to me first. What makes you think the monkey was talking to you? Well, it looked at me and talked. Why don't you walk me through the day the animals started talking to you? Well, I didn't get my promotion. And then the lion talked. Then I fainted. And then I had my session with you, and then the monkey talked. And then I met Eric. And then we talked. And then we kissed. And then we... Oh, my God. That was right before your monkey broke my heart. Oh, no, that was actually the fish. Did Eric break your heart, or was it the fish? The fish. The fish told me to break Eric's heart, which broke my heart. And do you do everything the monkey and the lion and the fish tell you to do, even if it causes you pain? Yeah, they kind of wore me out that way, which is mainly why I'm here.
I recommend we see each other three times a week. Isn't that a lot? Well, it's not five times a week. Which it looks like we can do. What do you prefer, mornings or mornings? Dr. Ron tell you whether this was a personality flaw or an actual disorder? Taryn. Well, there's no sense pussyfooting around about it. We're her parents. Something is wrong, we should talk about it. I mean, you can't talk to us, can you, sweetheart? Uh, yeah. Could I have some more water, please? Now, what I'd like to know is, is this an isolated incident, or can we expect more of these sods? I mean, God forbid you end up like the Olsen girl. Didn't she stab herself and then tell everybody that Dr. Ron tried to kill her? Mad as a balloon. We don't want that life for you. Darren, she doesn't want to discuss it. We have to respect that. Thank you. Fine. Fine. We can pretend nothing is wrong. Not a care in the world. Oh, isn't that your little married friend? Do you have a new friend? He doesn't work today. That is him and his wife. I have to pee. wasn't working today. He's not. But the man lives here. No. Oh. Oh. That's it. You got this cry coming. Cry till you can't cry no more. I want to see salt deposits on your cheeks when you're through. I didn't think it would hurt so much. Seeing him with her in wedded bliss. Without me. Oh my God. He's going to grow old with her, isn't he? I'm going to die alone. Oh, will you die alone with me? Of course I will. Who else am I going to die alone with? Your brother? Ha. Huh. I mean, I, I, I can't think of any examples, actually. Do you like my brother? No. God, no. That was a random... No. Because <laughs> that'd be weird, huh? Yeah, I'll say. Hello. Excuse me. I'm Karen Tyler. Jay's mother. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm not quite sure how to bridge the subject, so I'm just going to get right to it. My daughter's very upset about something. Really? Mm-hmm. And she won't discuss it with me, and Mahandra's not saying a word, so that leaves you. What do you say? You want to be my hero? How upset is she, exactly? I'll tell you how upset she is if you tell me what she's upset about. I wish I knew. Thank you. Do you think Eric loves her? I mean, like, really loves her. She's his wife. I know, but like... Really, really loves her? Yes, he does. In fact, he loves me so much, he married me twice. If you hadn't wiped yourself with your first wedding vows, you wouldn't have had to get them renewed. Oh, sigh. Whatever scars I've given Eric are healing. And they'd heal a lot faster if you stopped picking at him and leave us alone. I was leaving you alone plenty before you came through that door. No, you were stalking my husband at his workplace. Which is no longer his workplace, because he just quit. What? We're going back to Jersey. My sins have been paid for. Honeymoon purgatory is coming to an end. That's so sad. Honey-ho, gotta go. You almost had him, huh? 
For a second there, I thought it was going to be you kissing the groom on my wedding night. But only for a second. Hi, babe. Hi. Hi. The girls were just helping me pack your things. Hi. How you doing? Just ducky. You? As well. Everything go okay? Yeah, great. I gave my notice. Notice? I thought you were gonna quit. They need two weeks to find a replacement. They gave me a job in a bed. It's the least I can do. Eric, I wanna go home. It's just for two weeks. We 